when I was in high school around 88, 80, 89, cocaine came into the community. And I seen the change because I knew some guys who was hustling and was selling some dope. So around that time was like when I graduated from high school, so I had to make a decision on what I was gonna do. Because it was like tough, you make the wrong move, you can end up in jail, you can end up dead. So it was like very delicate on who you was around and areas you was around too. So this area right here was basically a no-no area to come down into. So I knew some friends who had like right out of high school got sentenced to 10 years. I knew some friends who had got you know, just got into some bad, bad opportunities. So I was lucky, I was able to go to college, but at the same time, this area was getting ran over and it was kind of like, almost like, a, like the worst film that you could think of was just drug inhabited down here. I mean, girls was ended up missing, rape cases, like just, just anything you could think of was just a tragedy for this to happen down here. Well, I teach graphic design throughout the inner city and I hit two different locations once a week. Um, I'm on the east side, I'm on the west side, I'm all over the place. And luckily I'm in East Cleveland because this is where I'm from. So I love to get back to the kids. And before I hit this location, I have a, I'm in King Kennedy. So I'm in King Kennedy and in the fall it gets dark around about five or six o'clock. So this is basically an after school program. So as I'm transitioning from my first location to my East Cleveland location, I'm driving past this area. And when I look over, every time it's no street lights for like three or four blocks. So it just was like, I couldn't wrap my mind around what's going on down there. So I was like, when I get a chance, but every time I came through here, it was always nighttime, so I couldn't see. So when I got a chance to see it in the daytime, I was just blown away because I, I know that kids have to walk past here to go to school and it's just a bad situation for them to have to deal with. I mean, people are already dealing with drugs, alcohol abuse, the school system, there's no, there's no jobs or anything. And, and on, on, on top of that, we have to look at this stuff too. What's, it, what's to be done about these buildings? I, I would like to say I don't really care. It's like I'm at the point where right now, I think that like my role is just to help the kids and help the babies and help the future and help save them. So I want to bring awareness to them that, that it's a way out of this. I'll tell them right now that all of y'all not going to make it. So if you see somebody in the games, if you see somebody doing something they're not supposed to be doing, I tell them to be with me because I, I, I let them know, like, I'm not just teaching you guys and, and, and you're on your own if you need help, if you need somebody to, to talk to, if you need somebody to, to, to help you get this business. Because I tell them, like, you can make money right now. You don't have to wait till you graduate. You don't have to wait till you get a degree. With, these, with, these, with, with the things I teach them, you can earn money right now. All you need is a computer, an internet connection, and you can start your own company. So I'm trying to create creative thinkers, not just designers.